Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. Today we're going to do card two in the series, Fun Card Folds. And today we'll be making a card called a Joy Fold or a Tri Fold. It looks complicated, but it's really simple. We'll be using Simply Charmed, Create a Critter 2, and two of my Cards TV stamp sets. From Going in Circles, we'll use Happy Halloween. And from More Spooky Sayings, I haven't decided yet. We may be using Spooky or Ghosts and Goblins, uh, hmm, Ghoul's Rule, Too Cute to Spook. I haven't decided yet, but we'll use one from More Spooky Sayings. I'll get this out of the way, and we'll get started putting together our Joy Fold or Tri Fold card. To make the base of our card, we're going to need a piece of cardstock, and I've got some black that I've cut at four and a quarter by seven and three quarters, and I'm going to score this at two and a quarter inches, and then I'm going to fold this to the right. Give it a nice crease. This is the base of our card, and then we've got another piece of black cardstock. And this has been cut at three and a half by seven and a quarter. And I'm going to score this at four inches. And I'm going to fold this to the left and give this a nice crease. To cover the inside of our card base, I've cut this really cute diagonally striped paper, and this is from last year's Halloween and Fall mat stack from Die Cuts with a View, and I really like all the colors in it. Now, I've cut this at four by five and a quarter inches, and I'm going to get this put on right here, and then we want to cover the inside of this flap as well as the outside. So for that... I've cut two more pieces of this paper, and these were cut at two inches by four inches. And they'll go on just like this. And that makes the base of our card. So I'm going to get my ATG gun and get these adhered down, and then we'll cover the other piece of cardstock. Okay, there's the base all covered. I really like that. Now, to cover this other piece of cardstock, which is going to go on the inside of our card, I've got this piece that's going to go right here on the inside, and I've cut this at three and a quarter by three and three quarters, and then on these two pieces, these two flaps, I've cut a piece that's three by three and a quarter, and one's going to go right here. And then another one right here. I love the colors on here. This is going to be really cute. Okay, now it's time to attach this piece of the card to the card base. I'm going to flip it over and add some adhesive to the back. And then we're going to open the flap on the card base. And we're going to center this vertically and horizontally on this card base, just like that. This is where we're going to put our image right here, our main focal point. So in the Create a Critter 2 cartridge on page 55, I decided to cut this little spooky haunted house right here. I cut the back of it out of some glitter paper and it's kind of a lime green. And then this was cut out of black. And I cut the little house at two and three quarter inches. And here it is right here. And because the glitter paper has a rough finish to it, I've attached the black layer with some glue dots to make sure that it stuck down really well. And I've got my little house on one thickness of foam tape, and it's going to go right there. Then from the Simply Charmed cartridge, I've cut three little ghosts. I love the shape of this little ghost right here. And I cut one at one inch. Then I cut one at an inch and a quarter, and one at an inch and three quarters. And I only cut the shape of the ghost in white, and I did cut uh, one of them on flip. I think it was the one that I cut at an inch and a quarter. I cut on flip, and I've used some Peachy Keen face stamps for these. And this little ghost is on page 58. 
Now here's the little small one. This is cut at an inch. It's on one thickness of foam tape. It's going to go right there. Love that little face. And I'll show you the peachy, cane, peachy keen face stamps that I used for this. Then I've got a little grumpy looking ghost. <laughs> and this one was cut on flip at an inch and a quarter. It's going to go right down there. Now you can see the card does not want to stay closed. So I took my Cards TV going in circle stamps and all of these can be cut with an inch and a quarter circle punch. So I stamped Happy Halloween on some white cardstock and I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that as well as the Peachy Keen Faces. And here this is. And this is my inch and a quarter EK Success Punch. Now to get this little scallop around here, I have a Fiskars uh, scalloped punch, but you can look in one of your Cricut cartridges for a scallop and cut one out. I would start at an inch and a half just to see what fits on there. And then I took the star that's on that same stamp set and stamped that in the center. And I put this on here with glue dots as well because this is some more of that glitter paper. And I've got my uh, foam tape just on one side because this is going to act as a closure for our card. So when I put it just to one side, you can see there's just enough right there that's going to hold the edge of the card down and then it's not going to be popping open. Now before we do the inside, let me show you these Peachy Keen face stamps that I used. This is PK570, the basic paper doll face assortment and I used for the smallest ghost I used the 3 8 inch size for this one the inch and a quarter I used 5 8 and the one that's going on the inside I didn't show you him did I he's so cute he's laughing and I took a marker and just colored in the inside of his mouth he was cut at an inch and three quarters and I used the three quarter inch face for him and I've got him on one thickness of foam tape. And we're going to put him on the inside. But I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuck down. Then we'll do the inside. And you'll see then how this is going to keep the card closed. I've got everything adhered down. And you can see now how this acts as a closure. Just opens like this. And when you're ready to close it, you just tuck it under. And it keeps it closed. Now for the inside... I took a piece of marigold cardstock and I went ahead and stamped it using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I decided from that more spooky saying stamp set that I was going to use Too Cute to Spook. And I've cut this marigold cardstock at two and three quarter inches by three inches. I'm going to put that right there. And then here's that cute little laughing ghost. And that's why I chose the sentiment. Because he's so cute and he's laughing. And I think that's really cute for the inside. So I'll get this adhered down. We'll come back and take one last look at this joy fold or trifold card. Here's our finished joy fold card all adhered down. And I think it turned out really cute. And you can see how quick and easy this was to make. Here's the inside with our laughing ghost too cute to spook and he is and we'll just tuck that right under there for our closure thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with me today i had fun i hope you did too and i'll see you again soon bye now